The shackle sends metaphysical chains of energy across the planar chaos to latch onto our world. While the Dark Anchors have been able to pull portions of Nern into Cold Harbor, the Great Shackle has the power to steal our entire world! A barrier spell on the door? How pedestrian. Give me a moment and I'll open the way. I must be weaker than I thought. That took a lot out of me. Once we get inside, you take the lead. Serve my energy for dealing with the shackle. So I leave the hacking and slashing up to you. I don't have an unlimited amount of power at my disposal, so you'll need to deal with these brutes. I need to conserve my energy to deal with the great shackle. We need to locate the source of energy that provides the power for the shackle.
remarkable. This could be what we're looking for. This could be what we're looking for. Very interesting. It appears to be similar to the cage I was imprisoned in at the Black Forge. It, no! What have you done? Oh, wait! You reversed the energy flow! Good work! Now go upstairs and find the other conduits.
appreciate the help, and I won't forget this. I'll return the favor one day. You can... I thought I would rot in that cage forever. What an excellent idea! You can count on my help. I'll go find Vanus and prepare myself for battle. so kind as to open this cage. Someone needs to pay for locking me away in this dung heap. And I need to bust some heads, so I'm going to help you with your mission. I'll find Vanus and ready myself for battle. Ha! 
meet again, fellow knight. Wonderful day to sally forth, wouldn't you say? Oh, you know, a hidden path, the odd secret door, and Bob's your uncle. Here I am. I heard you were going to attack the Great Shackle. That's a quest worthy of a knight of my stature. Shackle, we're going to give you a damn good threshing. Defend me while I cast this extremely powerful and fantastically impressive spell. Keep them off me. I have to concentrate, and even the least distraction can be disastrous. <laughs> to watch a master such as I while I work.
I need more time. Don't let those creatures get past you. The threat of the plane meld is no more! Jolly good! And as soon as you deal with the plane of Vortex, everything will be right as rain. What? Explain yourself, man! What plane of Vortex? The shackle formed a plane of Vortex, kind of like an oblivion straw that will suck Nern right through and into Cold Harbor. Quite amazing how I knew that. Enough! We can discuss this back in the Hollow City. I'll open a portal before this entire place collapses on top of us. We have accomplished great things this day, my faithful friend. Was there ever any doubt? Between your skills and my formidable magical prowess, the destruction of the Shackle was a foregone conclusion. We aren't finished yet, however. Cadwell claims that we have more to do if we are to truly save Nern. I would love to explore this lost city, but apparently we still have much to do. This planar vortex that Cadwell describes concerns me greatly. Let's head inside and formulate a new plan to deal with this danger. If what Cadwell says is true, our job isn't finished here. And I'm positive we got the Daedric Prince's attention at the Shackle. He won't be too happy about what we did to his toys. That means we need to hit him before he hits us. I need to consult with my colleagues in the Mages' Guild. We need to gather whatever information we can on this planar vortex. I hate going into a situation blind. Let the Mages inside know that I'll be joining them in a moment. I need to finish with Cadwell and the Groundskeeper first. I don't know about you, but I find them both to be more than a little, uh... Peculiar.
You must be the person who rescued all these people. We were part of Varnus Galerian's group before. Well, before everything fell apart. We appreciate everything you've done for us. The four of us, yes. There were many more, but, well, you've seen it out there. Even our fabled leader was lost to the hosh plain of Cold Harbor. We're all that made it back. What? You've got to be kidding. I saw him being torn away. There's no way they'd let him live. You must have him mixed up with someone. There just isn't any way. Ah, my old friend. I thought we'd lost what? you. It... it can't be! So good to see you all again, my friends. I'm glad we all made it here safely. Bonnie, you're alive. That's wonderful. Oh, dear Nalia. My heart fills with delight at the sight of you. Yes, I am safe. Where have you been, old friend? Trying to win the war all by yourself again? Well, yes, but I ran into a bit of trouble. Our friend here showed up and lent me a hand. Well then, you have our thanks. I'm not sure we could have gone on without... Without Vonis. Cheer up, dear Nalia. I'm here now. But our mission isn't finished. We have to destroy the plain air vortex and end the plane meld. Do you have a plan, old friend? I know what we need to do. I'm just not sure how we go about doing it. We need to discuss this with the Fighters Guild. We need a council of war. The pieces begin to fall into place. Small... Your nagging is becoming more annoying than my persistent rash. We finally have a secure base. To go back outside without a plan is even too foolhardy for me. You want us to hide behind these walls? To leave our comrades to die while you sip wine and lounge about? You have no honor, Knight. Don't lecture me about honor, elf. You have no idea what I've seen or what I've gone through. My apologies for that display. The whole rash comment. Just a figure of speech, of course. So, I suppose you know more about this place than any of us. Like where I can get a decent drink? A safe haven, eh? I didn't really expect to see cheerful flowers and clear water anywhere in this dark realm. I assumed we were walking into untimely and painful deaths. Glad to see I was wrong this one time. That's a good question. I heard that Captain Alfari was killed shortly after we were scattered. I was hoping to find another officer here, but no such luck. An alien? I thought they were all, you know, dead. Of course, this is a Daedric Prince's plane. I really need to stop being surprised by such revelations. I have a feeling that won't be the strangest thing I find out before this is all over. Attend me, soldiers. We have a war to win, and time grows short. What in Ariel's name is this? Who are you? So that's the last alien, huh? I thought he'd be more... dusty. 
Isn't that what happens when elves get really, really old? Shut it, you fop. Who's in charge of this group? Step forward and address me. Then allow me to rectify that. I shall lead you. We shall recover your comrades and complete your mission. If that does not work for you, your services are no longer needed. I don't know who you are, but you aren't Fighters Guild. You have no authority over us. Do you challenge me, then? Do you want me to kill you to prove my combat prowess to your companions? I wouldn't necessarily mind seeing that. He is kind of annoying. How can you expect us to lay down our lives for someone we never met? Trust is earned on the battlefield. If you want to survive, if you want to win this, you must trust me. Allow me to explain why you need my leadership. We shall work this out. I understand your reservations. But with my leadership, the Fighters Guild will help us win this war. The pieces are almost all in place. We can move against Molag Ball whenever you want. Attack now, or gather more forces. The choice is yours. Thanks to your efforts, life is returning to the city. Already, those you have rescued have found their way here. Do we have enough to start a war? Yes. But are our numbers strong enough to finish it? I'd suggest we're not there yet. Marching against this enemy at less than full strength would not be advised. Of course, victory is never guaranteed, no matter what the odds. If you feel differently, Give the command. Otherwise, go back out and look for more allies to aid us. Very well. If you feel that is the wisest course, meet me in front of the cathedral when you are ready. We will begin making preparations immediately. around you. See how the people brighten the streets with their very presence. It is good to have this place inhabited once again. King Dinah and Varnus have begun to rally the troops. They have called for a council to meet here in the Hollow City. There are decisions to be made, plans to draw up. The time for war fast approaches, and we need to be ready. I sense other lights trapped in the darkness. Their exact locations are hidden from me, but I can hear their desperate pleas for help. You must choose. Will you seek out more allies, or will you allow the War Council to begin? You shall find the Aeliad King and the Mage inside the Cathedral. They await your arrival. Once you enter the Cathedral, the preparations for the final assault to save Nern will begin.
Welcome, friend. We need to discuss the preparations for the coming assault, but I wanted to wait until you arrived. Do you have any questions before we begin? We need to end the plane meld before Nern is destroyed. To do that, we must deal with the planar vortex. To reach the vortex, we need to cross the chasm and get through whatever defenses the Dark Lord throws at us. I fear battle is inevitable. Well said, friend. Uh, please, hold your questions until everyone who wants to has had an opportunity to speak. After that, we can debate the details as you see fit. Attention, please. I have called you all here because the moment of destiny fast approaches. The Great Shackle has been destroyed, but not before a planar vortex was established. We must destroy this vortex before it sucks the very essences of Nern into cold heart. The Fighters Guild shall deal with the Chasm's defenders, but blades have little power against magic. And that's where my mages come in. Our scouts report that some kind of magical fixtures block access to the path across the chasm. Mages there already work on a way to overcome these fixtures, and we are prepared to lend our strength when the main force arrives. A sound plan plays to our unique strengths. But this one wonders, what if the mages can't overcome Molag Barl's magic? What a ridiculous question! Of course my mages can overcome this magic! Ah, magic, the solution to all life's problems. I love magic, it's so... magical. I have absolute confidence in Vanus and his mages. Thank you, your lordship. But to be honest with you, I'm not feeling as confident as Vanus about this. We shall fight with all our strength. There is no other option. Lives will be lost, but hopefully a world will be saved. Know that the chasm is only the first stage of this battle. The planar vortex abides within the very heart of Molag Baal's lair. Oh, this just gets better and better. Darian. Mind your tongue. Darian only seeks to lighten a tense situation. Still, we have to try. To do nothing is to doom Tamriel to certain destruction. Well, when you put it that way, there are a lot of lovely ladies that need to be saved. Yes, well, be that as it may, we launch our assault on the chasm immediately. The king needs to talk to the champion and I must discuss some final details with the mages. The rest of you have your own preparations to see to, I'm sure. It is settled. We shall cross the chasm and make our way to the planar vortex at the heart of Molag Baal's realm. Now that you know the plan, I have a special request to make of you. This mission needs a leader. I want you to lead the assault across the chasm. We have asked so much of you, and you have already accomplished the impossible. But you are one of a very small few that I would trust with this task. It is set. This mi- I knew we could count on you. You have never disappointed me. But there is so much left to do if we are going to win this war. Still, with you leading the charge, we have an excellent chance to end the plane meld and save our world. With the combined forces, it is a narrow, well-defended span of rock swarming with Daedra and dominated by a gatehouse that blocks the way into Molag Baal's personal domain. Cadwell knows the region. He's a strange fellow, but I trust him. He's waiting for you at the chasm. <laughs> 